Well, hello again. This is episode two of the ME109 build. As you can see, I got uh, most of the engine detail and the pilot. We kind of glued them in that half of the fuselage. Uh, we're going to put on the rear wheel. We got it down here. Uh, we're going to just paint it, then we'll actually put the other side of the fuselage on. on. And uh, to answer a question that we covered in episode one of ME109 Bill, uh, the reason I looked it up, the reason the engine is inverted or, or mounted upside down, according to the engineers, uh, would give the pilot a better view, having the bottom of the engine or the oil pan uh, on top, whereas the V12 uh, cylinders in a V would uh, obstruct his uh, vision. Anyway, that was one of the reasons, and plus they mounted machine guns uh, on top of the uh, engine. That way, we could, they could uh, be mounted clearly. Anyway, we tried to get a lot of detail on the pilot. He's looking pretty good in there. Uh, the shameful thing is that uh, even though we did a lot of details, eventually that will all be covered. But I know that it's detailed, and I, I like to detail it because it, it just makes it, it look a lot better. Anyway, we're going to continue on this here, and we'll make a, another video uh, when we get this all glued together, put the other side of the fuselage on and maybe the wings, and uh, mount all the machine guns. The machine guns go, two of them go right on the top there, right there. You can't see it. It's a little cover there. It goes right about here. Uh, I was going to try to point it, but my finger's too big. <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed these short videos. I like to make them short that maybe people would uh, find them interesting. Uh, it's good to put some detail in it, and uh, it's a little bit of history why this particular engine was mounted upside down. So till next time, we'll see you. Have a nice day. Bye.